cross-sectional imaging is an important adjunct to ileocolonoscopy in patients with Crohn's disease. Dedicated small bowel imaging is recommended at diagnosis to evaluate the severity and proximal extent of disease and to rule out complications. Although ileocolonoscopy is our gold standard for objective monitoring of disease activity, it has a number of limitations. It's invasive, has risks, requires preparation, and is not acceptable on a recurrent basis with patients, therefore not feasible for frequent monitoring strategies. The target area for examination may not be reachable with ileocolonoscopy given the presence of stenoses or other complications including severe disease. This limits the extent of the examination. CT is an excellent modality, particularly in emergent circumstances given high resolution and easy access. But safety concerns limit the repeatability of CT, particularly in younger patients because of ionizing radiation and the harms that this may impart. MR enterography is safe, non-radiation based, with excellent soft tissue resolution. But it too has limitations, particularly with access and long wait times given high expense. This limits its use for routine monitoring. Ultrasound is a first choice imaging modality for routine surveillance and for evaluating exacerbations. It is safe, well tolerated by patients, it's inexpensive and potentially could be widely available. It is accurate for the detection of disease activity equal to either CT or MRI. Ultrasound may be a surrogate for ileocolonoscopy for detecting ileocecal Crohn's disease, postoperative recurrence, and Crohn's disease complications. There are very few limitations to ultrasound in most patients, for example, excessive abdominal adiposity. Ultrasound may also provide an opportunity to engage and teach our patients about their disease activity, the extent, the location, or even potentially provide reassurance when the disease is in remission. In summary, transabdominal ultrasound can be a valuable monitoring tool as part of our treat to target strategy.